Mr. Senator, uh, my name is Ramesh Jora. I'm from IDEA and Indian News, which is a flagship agency of the International Press Syndicate. Now, this uh, the establishment of the bank is uh, certainly to be regarded as an important step towards nuclear security and uh, non proliferation. Now, these have been two roadblocks to serious negotiations among the P5 to reduce their atomic arsenal. And today, for example, the concern of 122 states which approved, which adopted the UN Treaty for the Provision of Nuclear Weapons. Do you think it will act as a Catholic agent to bring about provision of nuclear weapons in this foreseeable future? Well, it's hard for me to see how you advance the ball very far when the nuclear powers themselves have not participated in the debate in the process. I think it was a missed opportunity. I think the nuclear powers, including the United States, Russia, and others, should have participated in that process. Uh, but uh, we already have obligations under the Non-Proliferation Treaty, and I hope that the, the debate and so forth on the Ban Treaty, though I agree with the goal, agree very much with the goal, but I hope it doesn't cloud the obligations that already exist under the Non-Proliferation Treaty, the nuclear powers. I don't think the nuclear powers are now moving forward in reducing their nuclear arsenals as they should be. And one of the, of course, great impediments of that is what we just addressed in the previous question I answered, which is the fact that the United States and Russia, the two largest nuclear powers, with 90% of the nuclear weapons and a huge part of the nuclear materials are in great disagreement over the Middle East and over Ukraine and also over American elections and the allegations surrounding the hacking. So the biggest thing we can do right now is get the United States and Russia and China and other nuclear powers uh, stepping up to the plate in terms of their own discussion with each other. Uh, so I'm Say it's a question mark uh, as to whether we advance the ball uh, in the work of going getting rid of all the nuclear weapons in the world. And I'd have to wait and see how that works. But the final observation I would make, I think I would hope that the United States and Russia would uh, focus on, and indeed other nuclear powers, is increasing decision time. It, uh, with the intervention of cyber now, cyber possibilities of interference with command and control. I think it's a extremely dangerous situation for there to be such a short decision time and warning time between the various nuclear powers, not only the United States and Russia, but also India and Pakistan. So giving leaders more decision time, making sure no one responds to a false warning, thinking that they're under attack by firing their own nuclear weapons. That's what we have long called stability. We need stability talks among the nuclear powers. That's absolutely essential as a condition for receiving to really taking the steps to reduce the numbers that uh, are still so essential. If I may just add something like my colleague said, this, with which I completely agree. Uh, first, I'm going to say something which my colleague often says, which is that we should remember that a world without nuclear weapons is not simply today's world with nuclear weapons subtracted. Many things will have to be done. And I think uh, we and our colleagues uh, at NTI will be focusing very much on, in the context of that vision of a world without nuclear weapons, preparing the way. Just give one example. The verification regimes globally in a world without nuclear weapons will have to look quite different. We, that's the kind of thing that we would like to be working on, uh, working with colleagues uh, 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 at NTI around the world, uh, because there's a lot of work to do to enable that pathway uh, to, to no nuclear weapons, uh, to be one that we can travel in a reasonable way. <laughs> anyway, it's, um, I just hope we don't... You know, you've got to have countries working together and right now. That split may undermine some of the But the big split is U.S. and Russia. That's the big thing.
Thank you. The government of, uh, uh, of uh, Kazakhstan itself is uh, uh, very much determined uh, to uh, enhance uh, the uh, nuclear security as a whole. Um, um, uh, President Nazarbayev is a very um, uh, important participant of the nuclear security summit uh, that President Obama uh, hosted. So as a country, uh, you are very determined uh, 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 active in this regard, in this area, nuclear security. And uh, the bank uh, satisfies the highest standard, latest um, um, uh, security uh, standard of the IAE. Mm -hmm. Now this is some... Um, because of the security guards. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, also provide uh, the guard, uh, provide uh, the protection in the border for uh, their their security Yes, yes. Okay.